guys doing welcome back to my youtube today i have a video of a bulk carrier modification that's typically the video i'm going to be um talking today um this modification um i think it's one of the best ones to be able to have a bulk carrier that you can rely on um i think that this is one of the most important parts on your AR so do not go cheap on your bolt carrier right so um, in my case in my build I am using um, a low mass bolt carrier I went with the tin gold and I went with the Faxon uh, BCG all right so um, you, you could do this modification to any type of bolt carrier that you want right I think it's the best one I don't know if some people um, know about or have heard about cryptic uh, cryptic is a company that makes a special coating on bulk carrier parts and these coatings um, they are very strong and they are heat resistant and that's what I'm looking for right so um, when you buy from cryptic uh, cryptic it's gonna come with a little box like this and then it's gonna come your invoice it's gonna tell you like what you pay for the parts and blah 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 um they go oh they got me some little mints two little mints inside the package um this is the people so best oil People, best oil. This is not a promotion, but this is the best of the best. Okay? So, it comes wrapped on this, and this is what it comes here. These are the parts. This comes all wrapped like that. So, basically, I'm going to show you what's in here. So this is the parts. That is the ejector. It's a very shiny little part. And yep, it feels very nice. Very slippery. And this, right? Detent. Okay, so these are the two parts that I order from Cryptic. Uh, you could order like the whole bulk, um, bulk carrier assembly and even uh, your carrier and your bolt, all right? You could pick them and different, uh, different type of coatings. It could be uh, rose gold, gold, black, uh, silver. They have a few of them. So go ahead and check them out. Crypticcoating.com, right? So what else am I going to be doing to this bolt? This uh, bolt carrier, this is factory bolt. And if you look at the factory bolt, square just like other ones I'm gonna do some changes there so I'm gonna go with the reliable from sharp rifle All right there you go and this is how it is I already used it but I just love this thing Right, this is the difference between both of them. Very different, right? So this is like making your bolt carrier and perfect everything that you really want to do and make the perfect bolt carrier. So yep. This is the one. This is the bad boy. So that's the little guy that I want to remove. So let me 
pause the video to look for some tools. I'm back. So first of all, we are going to start by taking my extractor out. So it's just by pushing this little pin is in there you're gonna push it and it comes out right so there you go there's a spring there so make sure you're holding everything right and here is the part do not lose that rubber right there okay so now we are going to transfer everything from inside here to over. sure remove the little rubber first it's kind of tricky but it'll work in it <laughs> let me see if I can find any tool Okay, I got too much grease in my hand. Let me pause the video, get this installed, and be back. All right, back to the video. So, here it is. Ah, right there. There's the belt. And if I could cover, yeah, right there. Right? And this, you can put it around in a bag. If you, I'm gonna use this bag right here. I'm gonna put this there. All right. So now we're going to assemble this one and. Not a whole lot, just because it's already coated and this coating is very slippery. Just one little drop and um, go in the sides, All right? Make sure your rubber is very nice and flush there we go i'm putting back the pen there you go you can put it with your own hand all right so this is going to look like that, right? That's how it's going to be looking. Very nice, right? So now that we have everything installed, well, you could, this part is so slippery compared to this one that is diamond, diamond coated. They have a very good coating on Sharp Rifle. I don't know something about diamond something, but you guys make a research. This coating is amazing too, all right? It's very slippery. So you really want to put like a little amount
I'm gonna put it here and here, all right? And take the excess out, all right? So, I have that ready. It still has a little carbon. From the last time I shot it, it has at least 150 rounds on this boat, so it's basically nothing. So you don't need tools to dismantle your boat, all right? So I'm just taking this out, boom. Take this out. Twist this to the side. Pull it out. Pull this out. Put it inside. Put it in the side. And this is what you need, right? So now. You're gonna take the extractor. If you get it like this, just look into your right arm. It's going this to be facing towards you. All right. And now you're going to be grabbing the detent. Just a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. And we are going to place it in there. And twist it sideways. Twist it sideways. Goes to the other side. Good. All right. So this is going to be looking how it's going to be looking. This black, um, this gold is going to be popping out a lot. All right. So now. You clean the excess of oil in your hand and powder. Clean your hand. All right. Now, grab your bolt. Now you're gonna be putting oil only on where you know is going to be doing friction, all right? So it's going to be this part over here. It's just only a drop and you pass your finger like that. Okay, um, this part right here. Right, this bottom part where your case is going to be hitting, all right? And what you're going to do is you're going to put a drop here. That's your choice if you want to do it. You don't have to do this. And you just coat the whole metal with that only single drop. It's enough to coat the whole metal. Right? Pass your hands like that. And that's it. And clean excess where you don't want more oil. It's going to be 
on the faces, right? So with your with the resi residue that you have on your finger, you're gonna just slightly go like this. You don't wanna wet it too much, right? So that's done right here, right? So the rest of the parts, um, don't lose them, keep them, because you never know if you're going to be needing it, right? So, I have this, I have that. Yep. There. Put this there. Put this here. All right. So now, let's mount this. Right? This is the lower, this, this is the upper receiver, I'm sorry. The upper receiver that I'm going to be using for this video. I'm running a SJC compensator from SJC. Surefire with a remote. UTG 45 um, sights, iron sights. Um, the barrel is an IWI 556 NATO Chromov. That's what it says there. They're a little bit heavy, but very good um, barrels. I'm gonna find it right there, the brand. Right in there, All right? I'm using a adjustable gas block by Odin. Um, the handrail is on uh, Palmetto State. PMAG um, grip. I'm using the Lead Star Skeletonized um, Upper Strike Industry Dust Cover uh, 6 hour Romeo XDR and the EOTech uh, Mini Magnifier. All right, so basically, that's what I'm going to be running on my upper. Right, I'm going to be using my Radiant Raptor. I believe this is the SL. Right? Yeah, SL. All right? So, do this stuff. Put this there. Okay. This I was going to be looking inside there. And reverse. Right. And my upper receiver is going to be, um, this is a rare breed design uh, from Samurai. This one is from Tactical, Spike Tactical, right? So this is their lower, it's very nice, very aggressive. Um, using a uh, Magpul ambidextrous um, bolt released. I'm using a uh, Fostec binary trigger from Fostec. Right. Um, my takedown pins. I KN. I believe these are for KN something. I but I don't remember that much. But yeah, I use a rubber there to avoid rattling on your upper receiver with your lower receiver. Um, and I'm using a Geisley, 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 whatever you guys call it. Um, this is a H1 buffer and buffer spring, but I purchased a tungsten and I made it H2, right? So I'm running with an H2 buffer, right? Uh, killer innovation, not in the back over here. And that's about it. <clears throat> yeah, B5, I love the grip of the B5, the way it feels. Every single time you handle it, it's very good. Um, Odin, I release. So basically, that's what I have here in this build. All right, so let's put it together. See 
-hmm. so when it shoots you're gonna be able to see it every single movement and in the back over here you're going to be seeing the movement and the trigger hitting the striker and so you're gonna be able to see every single part that you put in this um, build right so when you go to this you're gonna be able to see the extractor shining there so this is the build guys so any other questions about any other part i'll be making a separate video this video only was for the cryptic coating all right and to show you the whole build all right so any video that you guys want with something specific that i that you guys want me to talk about uh, go ahead and hit the comment below all right so take care be safe bye bye